Hello guys, welcome to lesson one of our module one where we look at the HTML basics. So many a time people have worked with the HTML documents without necessarily understanding how the documents work or what is uh, the structure of the document. So this is just a basic HTML document. You know, it's some code here. And when you write HTML code, this uh, structure or this code, each of them has some particular meaning, all right? Each of them has some particular meaning and should follow some particular order. So start with is that uh, this document type here. So this first line here, which says document or doc type, which is document type. Number one is used to show that this document is of type HTML. Number two, it is used to declare the HTML version uh, that this page will use. In this case, when you just do this doc type HTML, it means use the latest version of the HTML, all right? Use the latest version of the HTML and make sure that this document is of type HTML. And number two is that uh, we have this line here. So this line specifies where the HTML code starts. And usually when you work with HTML, you will understand that we have what we call elements. So elements are these things that are written, you know, in this arrow left, arrow right. So these things which are written between these uh, arrows here is what we call elements. And elements are the opening tags and the closing tag. In our case, you are telling HTML that our code will start from this particular line and end at this particular line where we have the closing tag. All right. And number three, we have the head section. So before you declare or you print anything on the web, we have the head section on the HTML page where you basically use it to declare the metadata that is being used by that page. So this includes things like um, the title of that page, uh, the meta uh, description, the meta key tags, or keywords that are used by that page, uh, the character encoding, the viewport, you know, all those things which are necessarily are not directly used or do not directly appear on the body of the HTML, but they are used behind the scene by this HTML document. So all of them are declared on this header section. In fact, some things like uh, external links, you know, additional JavaScript, it, they are recommended to be added on this head section. So on the body is where we have the main content or where the main content of the website goes. So this inside here is where we have uh, the paragraph, is where we have the div section, is where we have the listing, here, is where we have the images, is where we have all those stuff. And when we dive in and start working, we'll be able to understand this much better. So this is just the basic structure of an HTML page and what an HTML page uh, consists. So let us dive in and just, you know, just go through this practically in a code and see what we have. So I'm here. This is in uh, Visual Studio Code. You can use any editor that you wish to follow along. But for me, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So to create an HTML file, number one, you go here, you say new file, then you write the name of the file, for example, test.html, all right? This will create a new file and then uh, where you want to save the file. So I'm not going to do that because I've already created course.html. If you're using Visual Studio Code, it is quite easy to, you know, to declare or to generate uh, the boilerplate for the HTML file, the, the starting code that you have seen. So to do that in uh, Visual Studio Code, you simply write, there's an extension that you have to add, which is known as Emmet. If I just say doc and I press tab, this will create an HTML boilerplate, all right? So as you can see, uh, just type uh, doc and I press tab, and this is what it generates. And then on top here, I can simply add the doc type like that. So that is it. Now we have the the starting tag of the HTML, the closing tag to declare the code, the head. Then by default, it comes with this meta cassette and this meta viewport. 
the title, and then we have the body. That is the basic structure of HTML. And in the next lesson, we are going to look at the specific section of HTML, such as the head, the body, and some of the elements that are used in specific situation in HTML.